Hey, it's Ali from ahan.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the Google Play Store on your Windows 11 device. Now, this is the quick and easy way. I made an article about this, but now I'm going to show you a video quickly just to show you what you need to do. It's dead easy. Let's give it a go. All right, so you might think, oh, what the hell am I going to use Android apps on Windows 11? Well, this is it. So you can control your home devices. You can read the news and you can find loads of games that you can play. It's dead handy and I'll show you how you can get it all done. It integrates really well with the rest of Windows. I'm actually very surprised. Like for instance, if I go into settings and then change it from dark to light, for instance, it changes all the Android apps as well. So it's quite clever that they've made these deep links into the OS and it really makes it feel very cohesive. All right, so the first thing you need to do is go to ahan.co.uk or click the link in the description. It will take you to uh, this page here. So the article is how to get the Google Play Store working on Windows 11 the easy way. Now, it's dead easy. You just need to pull this up or we'll follow along. So the first thing we need to do is uninstall the Windows subsystem for Android if it's already installed. So I've got it already installed, so I just need to uninstall it. So we'll do that now. So right click subsystem, uninstall. It's gone. All right, so I just going to give a quick shout out to a Delta X. He's the one who created this method. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have these videos. We wouldn't have the Google Play Store on Windows 11. So thank you very much, buddy. OK, so what we need to do is download the patched version of Windows subsystem for Android. So this is already patched version using a Delta X's instructions. I've already patched it for you and I've provided it as a download. Now, when this video goes out, hopefully I'll have another version which will work with ARM devices. Uh, currently, this only works with x86 64 bit devices. So uh, I'll make that for you, uh, hopefully shortly after the video drops. All right, so the next step, we got to enable developer mode in Windows 11. So bring that up here. Go into settings, just search for developer mode or developer. And we got it here. And mine is already on. You just need to turn it on on yours. And then we can proceed to the next bit. So this is where you need to download the subsystem. Now, what I've done is what I've done is extracted it to the C drive, so it's nice and easy. We can run our commands that we need to run from the C drive. So, first of all, we'll go into the folder where the uh, patch WC, uh, WSA is, and then right-click and open with Windows Terminal. So this will bring up a PowerShell command line and uh, we just need to pop in this command here make sure you do not include the little dot at the end a few people have done that and it hasn't worked so we just need to right click pop it in you might get an error yes you get this error because I'm silly and I haven't ran it as administrator <laughs> okay so now we'll do that again right click paste and that's worked so now if all goes well windows subsystem is right there so we just need to click on that right so to launch the subsystem you just need to click on files and open that up and then it should set up for the first time and then after this bit, we should see the Google Play Store. Okay, so you've got a little notification down here. 
Google Play Store is installed and ready to use. There we are. So, the only problem is, click on sign in, nothing happens. So we just need to complete one li last little thing and then we'll be able to sign in and then install all the apps that we want to. So, for this bit, you need to download the ADB kit, download it to your C drive, like what I've done. So back to the C drive, here we have the ADB kit. So I'm just going to extract that right there where you are. Okay. So now we need to go back to the uh, settings for WSA and then enable uh, developer mode for the Android subsystem. That's done. Allowed it on the firewall. Now we can run the commands that we need to. So do it again. Open the PowerShell com uh, command line in that folder. So what have we got here? So if you see here, it says ADB can be connected on 127.0.0.158526. Yeah, so that's what I got on the article. Should be showing as 127.0.0.158526. All right, so just need to run this command right here. I'll just copy it. So that's going to connect to the device via ATB. It might give me an error, but not to worry, because I'm going to do uh, ADB devices. And you can see it's actually connected, even though it gave you an error. So what we need to do here is to ADB again, then shell. And uh, just need to get root. That was easy. <laughs> and then set enforce zero. Now, if we go back to the Play Store, click on the sign in button. Voila, it all works great. OK, so I'm going to sign in, set up my Android again. Uh, hopefully you can do the same. I'll leave the link in the description and share this video with a friend if you think it's useful. Uh, take it easy. See you in the next one.